Hello, welcome to Dance for Parkinson's. We have a great class planned for you today. I'm Ruth, and these are my assistants, Sarah, Vanessa, and please start off by getting a good sturdy chair. I recommend a kitchen chair or a dining room chair, as opposed to an upholstered armchair or love seat. If you have arms in your chair, that's fine, but just be aware of them because we'll be moving our arms. And if you're in a wheelchair, as all levels of mobility are welcome, please move the footrests to the side, secure them back, and get your feet grounded into the floor. We're getting into dance class mode. If you are able to, those sitting in a regular chair, if you can move away from the back of the chair a little bit, please do adjust that. But if you need the back of the chair for support for any reasons, then you may sit back because there's no wrong dancing in this class. And I want you to be comfortable, to move within your own amplitude. We will be challenging you, but just move along with us and we will challenge with tempo because there's no wrong dancing in this class. So first off, we're going to start with a beautiful sun salutation warm up. So the feet are lined up parallel at your own hips width, not too narrow, a little wider, which lends itself to a little st stability once we're standing. And this neurologically does transfer. So get those feet grounded and the knees directly over the feet. So not too much flexion in the joints and not too much extension. We will move there, but for now to start. Lovely, neck is free, head is up. Let's drop the arms, they won't fall off. Mark along with us. This is the intro. Reach the palms up, one. Let them touch two. Can you look up at it? I want to get that head and neck warmed up. And now lower that down in the image of prayer to the heart center as the elbows widen. And now reverse that, fingers lead up to the ceiling. Can you look as high as you can go? And think of a fountain opening and lowering all the way down. That's the intro, and here it is again. We'll repeat it twice through with counts. One, two, look up. Three, lower four. Reverse five, six, fountain open seven down eight. So that was A. B, we're going to reach around a bubble, big or small, no matter what. Reach to the side with the right arm, we'll mirror you. Side one, high two. Now you have to reach and twist a little across that bubble. Come forward on your rocker bones to get the bottom of that bubble traced. And then release it and suspend it on five. Leaves falling, six. To the ground, seven. Bend that elbow, eight. Other side, one. Up, two. Across, three. Trace the bottom, four. Get the feet moving up, five. Six, seven, down, eight. I meant to get the weight on the feet, sorry. C, heart center. Right over left, press the hands right into your heart with the elbows wide and take a breath in one, two, Forward on those rocker bones to open the heart center by four. Wide arms. Repeat that. Five, six, forward seven, open eight. Now gather the love. Gather, gather, gather. Two, right over left, loose embrace. We will learn the other side too. Just relax if you can. Slide off a sweater. Five, Lengthen up six, like a yawn, press the palms away. This time the palms are down, eight. Last image, D, ocean wave. Let the head drop over, whoosh up. Elbows bending as they float down, but you stay up. Again, five up, six down, seven down, eight. Last time, whoosh up, stay floating. To the right, your little seaweed kelp floating in the water. To the left, two counts. Five, six to the right. Seven, eight to the left. Now a cat stretch to finish up. Drop the arms and we'll have one more intro as a coda. 
reversing up and open down. So it sounds like a lot, but these four images are such beautiful ways to inform our movement. So A is the intro, big or small, that's the essence of the dance. B is the bubble, both sides. C is the heart center. D is the whoosh ocean wave, which resolves with the kelp. And then we resolve again with one more intro as a coda. So just follow along with us as we talk you through it. Here we go with the music. Five six seven eight intro reach one up two three elbows widen reverse up six fountain open all the way down again one up two looking up breathing as the elbows widening coming up fountain open let the arms down, bubble right side, one up, two across, three, low, four, suspend, five, six, leaves falling, seven, all the way down by eight, other side, up, two, across, three, down, four, suspend, five, six, seven, eight, heart center, right over left, Forward, open the heart, arms wide again. Breathing forward, open the heart. Gather the love, gather, gather, gather. Now sit, relax, loose embrace, right over left. Slide the sweater off, palms down. Ocean wave, let the head go over, whoosh, down, out, up. Elbows bend, float down in the water. Whoosh, and floating down, down. Last ocean wave, whoosh, suspending. Kelp to the right, easy. Undulate all the way down to the base of the spine. Easy, easy. Cat stretch up, let it go. Free up the sun salutation. Reverse open wide and finish down and breathe thank you let's go over it now to the left we'll do it again so what does that mean well a is symmetrical both arms up right we'll repeat that twice and now B, bubble, will start to the left, and we're mirroring you. So go to the left, We're easy, big or small, cross, and down, till we suspend and let the elbows bend, an image of leaves falling. And then the other side, and now heart center, try left over right, it's a little bit of a brain teaser. We have one side dominant. And that's quite all right. Open and we'll repeat that. Then gather the love. Try this left over right. I always have a hard time with that. Slide the sweater off till the palms are away and down. Whoosh, ocean wave is symmetrical three times and the kelp will start to the left. Floating, easy movement. And then one energized stretch with a symmetrical sun salutation for the end. So even if you have trouble between left and right, as long as you're trying both sides, you get the benefits. And if not, just do what you can. So let's do it again with music to the second side. Arms down, feet in the ground, beautiful presence. Here we go. Six, breathing, seven and eight. Both arms reach up, look at it. Lowering it down, elbows widening. Fingers lead up, let the shoulders relax. The spine is lengthening. Repeat, two, three, four, five, up, six. Fountain open, all the way down, bubble, second side. Can you follow it with your focus? 
low. Let that focus take you up. And leaves falling all the way down to the ground. Other side, side and high. Across and low and suspend. Heart center, left over right. One, lift two, forward three, open the heart four. Again, and six, and seven, open eight. Gather the love. Two, sit back, left over right, relax. Lengthen the spine, take the sweater off, palms away. Ocean wave, back of the hands, head over and up. Float down, but stay up. And down, out, up. So it has a little more momentum. Last one, it's the climax. Down, out, up. Breathing, let it easy float. Other side, side. Here we go, lengthen up both arms. Try to get them to match. Let them go drop and up. It should feel nice and free now. Lengthen up, open, finish, arms down to finish. Lovely, thank you so much. Our first dance that we're going to do right now is also a focus initiator. I spoke a little about that with the bubble and this is a character dance called Fortune Teller. So I love that image. Imagine yourself all decked out and you have a magic table in front of you because we'll be reading the palm, predicting the future, and gazing into the crystal bowl. So the hands will be on the lap for that stately fortune teller image. And the first hand will lift up and place on your diagonal and you'll read the palm. So you're looking at it as much as you can. You'll know more as you start learning. Now let the fingers lead you up as it rotates out and lifts your focus beyond the fourth wall of the theater to predict the future. And let the elbow bend to rotate that arm back to read the palm and on the lap. And let's do the other side. We'll learn it in counts in a moment. Read the palm, look. Get yourself familiar. The eyes are close, and now the eyes focus out. Imagine seeing through that wall at your home or wherever. And now come back and lap. So that's the theme of this in a second. So here we go. Read the palm first hand. One, predict two. Come back, read the palm three, lap four. Other side goes, read the palm five, predict six. Come back, seven, down, eight. Both hands, peripheral vision. One, predict two. Read the palm three, lap four. Now we're going to show the audience a crystal ball. You're going to rock forward on your rocker bones and a magic table. Go around that crystal ball, gazing into it, two counts. Then let it float away, lift yourself up, elbows down to finish. That's A. Now B is a cannon, like row, row, row your boat around of music. That's what a cannon is. And we will do first the right hand. One, read the palm. Now read the palm, other hand. And keep the other one there. First hand predicts. Second hand predicts. First hand to palm. Second hand, read the palm. First hand, lap. Second hand, lap. Finishing with a giant crystal ball, the table almost disappears. Reach high, forward on your rocker bones. One, two, three. Get under that crystal ball, but gazing out, not so much down, dropping out. And it lifts up seven, down eight. So let's do the cannon again. One, second hand, two, read the palm. Predict three, second predict four. First, read the palm, second palm, to the lap, to the lap, crystal ball. This one's four counts, two, three, four, I'm sorry, two counts, up, up, seven, six, down, seven, and eight. Again goes one, predict two, come back three, 
on the lap. Four, other side. Five, six, seven, eight, both peripheral vision and up. Really focus up now on the lap, small crystal ball, two counts, two. Float up, elbows bend to come down. Can in goes one, second hand two. First hand predict, second one predict. Really use your focus. First palm, let the head and eyes turn. Neutral on the lap, big crystal ball. One, two, three, under the ball, four. Up five, up, up six. Elbows bend, stay up to finish. Good, we're going to do it twice through, just like that, with A, B, A, B. And let's give it a try. Fortune teller with the music. Here we go, right hand, read the palm. Predict, read the palm, lap. Long life, love, money, lap. Both hands, read the palm, out, read the palm. Gaze into the looking glass, crystal ball floats up on the lap, cannon goes first and second. Easy eyes, let the head move, let it go. Use your eyes first, down, lap, lap. Big crystal ball, bigger. Show the audience, shape it, get under it. Press it up, go up with it. Let the arms bend and stay up. Again, here we go. Out. Other side. Five, six, seven, eight. Peripheral vision. One, two, three, four. Crystal ball. Five, six, float up. Seven, down on eight. Cannon goes first. Second, first, second, first hand, second on the lap to finish. Down, big crystal ball, and show it, get under it. Show it going away, it vanishes to finish, and you're down. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly enjoyed doing that with you. We all did, because we're going to now have a tap warm up. And after our tap warm up, we're going to do fortune teller again, getting up and down from the chair. If you want to choose to do so with us, please make sure you have someone with you. But um, Sarah will remain seated so you can follow her. But for now, to get the feet nice and warmed up, we're going to do a fun tap dance warm up. And this we call tap warm up one. And tap warm up one has two tap warm up steps. So even though we're seated, we have a sense of standing, but tap dancers really work with gravity to be very relaxed and have loosey goosey legs and make riffs and rhythms with their feet because they have taps on the balls of the feet and the heels. Now we don't right now and that's quite all right. So get those feet in a home position while we learn the tap warm-up steps, but then we'll be learning them with some variations and it's a study in tempo also. So there is a beautiful dance combination, but let's get the tutorial first. Tap warm-up one has a toe tap. You lift the toe and tap it. Try the other leg. We'll be alternating legs. Lift it and tap. We'll keep the arms on the thighs for this too. So lift up and tap it up, let it drop, let it drop, right? It's not placing it down. Tap, you, you can hear my shoe, tap, good. The second warm-up step is a heel drop. They are just like they sound. So let the heel lift up, that hand should, and the knee kind of come up, get the weight on the ball of the foot. Now let it go, boom, right, other. Don't be afraid of that reverberation. This is wonderful for the heel and has a lot of communication up to the spine. Drop, up, 
drop. So that's a heel drop, a toe tap again, up, tap, tap, and a heel drop, up, drop, up, drop. Okay, here we go with this combination. Toe taps, alternating legs, and we're going to do in series of eight counts. Starting with the right foot, toe tap. One, left, two, right, three, four. Alternate the legs, six, seven, eight. Double time, one and two and three and four. Five, it's okay if the hips and shoulders move, eight. And heel drops, one, up two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Double time, one and two and three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and toe tap out, right foot in, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, double time, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, out, in, out, seven, other leg goes out, in. So the whole femur bone should be sliding in the chair. It's just not the foot moving, it's the whole bone. Let it go, loosey-goosey. So the knee stays over the foot. Yes, let, let that leg slide in the chair now. Both legs, toe tap out and in. It doesn't have to be big, but the whole leg moves in, out, and in. Double time, out, in, out, out, in, out, in. Loosey-goosey legs, keep da-da-da. One more combination, this is the most challenging, combining the toe tap and the heel drop to walk the leg out. One leg at a time first. Right foot toe tap out, heel up down. Toe tap out, heel up down. Now to reverse, come in with the heel. Heel, toe tap, lift the toe, lift the heel and turn it out and bring it back to home. This is home position. Other side, toe tap out one, heel two, toe tap three, Heel drop four, reverse heel comes in, six, seven, eight, both legs, toe tap, heel up, drop, toe tap, heel up, drop, bring it in, heel, toe, heel and toe again, toe tap, heel up, drop, toe, heel, heel, toe, and that's the end. Now shimmy arms to finish. Shimmy arms are long fingers spread and shimmy them, right? We're gonna go down, out, up three, four, five, six, keep the shimmy going, eight, long right side, two, switch them like they're connected, join at the top, up, finish, down. So yes, when I say long right side, so now, let, imagine they're connected in one long beam, so they meet at the side, they're shimmying the whole time, and a long other side, and keep it up there, bring the other one up for two, and lower seven, down eight. So we have toe taps, parallel, single time, eight counts, double time, eight counts, next to heel drops, single time, heel, alternate the leg, and double time, seven, eight. Now we go out and in, eight counts, out and in, then double time, out, in, out, in, seven and eight, other side, eight counts of the other side, da, 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 and then double time, seven and eight, both legs out, in, out, in, double time, eight counts of each, it'll be more than that, good. Now we'll do the walk out again, because this is the hardest part. Toe tap out, heel up, down. Toe tap out, heel drop. Bring it in, reverse it to come in. Seven, eight, other side. Toe tap, heel up, drop. Toe, heel, bring it in, heel, toe. Both legs out. Toe tap, it should feel good. Let the knees move. See the knees open, they're parallel. They're open, repeat that. Toe tap out, heel up, drop. Toe tap, heel up, drop. Heel, toe, shimmy arms, here we go, one, two, three, reach, four, wide, six, seven, down, eight, one, up, two, switch them, three, four, stay, up, 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 finish, seven, accent, finish, like lights out. Okay, get your, gather your wits, tap over one, here we go. Seven, 
Eight, right foot. One, left, right, left. Seven, eight, double time. Tap, 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 tap. Seven and eight, heel drops. Right, left, right, left. Up, drop it, up, drop it, it pops. Double time, one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. And out, in, out, in, out, in. Toe tap, double time, out, in, loosey goosey leg, let it slide. Five and six and seven and eight and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, double time. One and two and three and four, five, six. Both legs go out, in, out, in. Toe tap, tap, tap. Keep that toe tapping and out, in. Keep the rhythm going. Five, six, seven and eight. First leg walks out, heel drop. Toe tap, heel drop. Bring it in, heel, toe. Heel, toe tap, toe tap, heel drop, toe tap, heel drop, heel drop, toe tap. Both legs, toe tap, heel up, drop, toe tap, heel up, drop, bring it in, heel, toe, heel, toe, again, toe, heel, toe, heel, bring it in, heel, toe. Shimmy arms, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, one, up, two, three, four. Keep it going, five, six, finish, seven, down, eight. Good job, excellent. Your legs might be tingling, stimulated in the nerves. It's a wonderful sensation because now we're going to learn fortune teller with getting up from the chair and getting down from the chair after the cannon. So please make sure you have someone spotting you, but you may also do it again seated. Remember, don't worry, you can come back to this another time and do it again. So here we go with fortune teller. Counts. Read the palm one, predict two, come back three, on the lap four, other side five, up six, seven, and eight. Both hands, peripheral vision, up, elbows bending to come back to a small crystal ball, leaning forward, get the weight on the feet, because that's where you'll stand up. Eight, down, cannon, one, other side, two, up, three, four, bring it down, first side, second, lap, lap. Here's where you'll get your weight on the feet. One, two, come forward, three, get under the crystal ball, forward, right? Forward to push yourself up. Bend the knees and let your bum go back as you sit down. But if you want to get the chair, that's okay. So watch this once from the side because as I'm reaching forward, you see that? That's getting the weight on the feet. Up, all the way up. And then sitting back, let the back go back as the knees bend. So it's not just going down from the waist, it's those rocker bones that help get the weight on the feet. The legs start to get engaged because they know they're to accept your body weight. Now we'll do it with the music. Here we go. Seven, eight, read the palm, look, predict. Read the palm down. Really relax the eyes. Let them look out to the distance. Look at the palm, lap, focus, out. Small crystal ball, gazing, six, floating up away, down, cannon, one, other side, two, predict, three, four, first side, five, six, lap, seven, 
Eight, big crystal ball, show it to the audience. Get the weight, coming on the feet, come forward to me. Forward, 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 up. Bend the knees, hips back, sit down, lap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Both hands, peripheral vision, really use your vision. Small crystal ball, gaze into it. Float up away, drop down, cannon goes one, two, three, four. First side five, second side six, first side, second side lap. Last time, one, two, enjoy, four, and up. Supple legs bring us down to finish on the lap to finish. Thank you. Now we're going to do a reverence. At the end of the ballet class, they do a reverence. The ballet vocabulary is in French and it means reverence or giving thanks. You may do this reverence standing or seated. And ballet has a language all of its own, the ballet mime. And we're going to learn a ballet mime and do what we call pass the pulse and practice our bows at the end of the class. So for let's learn the first gesture. It's I. Let's do that again. So the fingers lead up and come around and a nice stately presence, very grand. I. And now give thanks. Drop the head and come back up to dance, a little circling, ascending arms up. And then an image of a rainbow to bring the arms down. And that same arm that you started with bends, presents out with you. Nice stately presence and remain upright as the arm descends down. And then we'll do the other side. I one and give thanks to and two dance three and rainbow four and five bend the elbow and present six down seven down eight now we'll pass the pulse you'll wait your turn i'll pass it to sarah we do a little gesture and look on one count and a little nod on another count so you'll look and bow pass to vanessa look Present yourself and bow till it's back to me and bow. And then we practice our bows for the stage. Lift yourselves up, energized. Humble the head down. Arm and spine up again. Drop the arms down. Then we go the other way. Me to Vanessa and bow. Vanessa to you and down. You to Sarah till it's back to me. Gesture and down. Stately up. Both arms up, humble the head, come up, six, drop the arms, seven, finish eight. So in the ballet mime, really think of presenting yourself to the whole opera house, especially that with you part, where the elbow bends. I like to roll out the red carpet, that image of the arm rolling out. So here we go with our reverence. Seven, eight, right arm goes, I give thanks to dance, rainbow, down with you, drop the arms, other side. Give thanks to dance, rainbow, with you. Drop the arm, we'll pass the pulse. Here we go, me to Sarah, look, bow, and look at each other, and bow. Look to Vanessa, and it's back to me. Bring it on up, energize the arms up. Bring them down, humble the head, 
Bring yourself up. Drop the arms. Let's go the other way. Me to Vanessa. Vanessa to you. You to Sarah. Sarah to me. And we come up. Take a bow. Bring the arms down. And now we've come to the end of our class. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.